Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. And I will show you this time a new technique called no fuss factoring. And the very first thing, just keep in your mind that our leading coefficient over here is 2. That means it's other than 1. So we have to be very careful. Now since we want to solve this one by factoring, the very first thing I am going to do is I am going to put down two factors right up here somewhere and then let's look at only this part 2n. Don't worry about this exponent, just disregard exponent. So I'm going to put down 2n right up here and 2n over here. And in our next step, we are going to multiply these end number, this 2 and negative 210. So we are going to just put down 2 times negative 210, which is equal to negative 420 on the top of this x factor and in the middle there's a no coefficient over here by default it is going to be one so i'm going to put down this positive one at the bottom over here now we are going to find the factors over here of this negative 420 that if we add we can get 1 and if we multiply those numbers we should get negative 420. Let me show you an easy way of doing that one. So we simply got 2 times right up here. Don't worry about this negative sign. Just put down 210, isn't it? And now I am going to put down 2 times, isn't it 210 could be written as 10 times 20. 1. All right. Now I want you to just simply multiply this number over here. 2 times 10 turns out to be 20. 20 times 21. And we can see if we multiply them, we are going to get 420. And if we subtract them, we are going to get 1. So that means our number is going to be 20 and 20. 1. Let's fix the sign right now. The sign, since this is a positive 1, so that means it's going to be a positive 21 and negative 10. So that means our these two factors turns out to be negative 20 and positive 21. And these numbers I am going to put down over here. So the first one is going to be negative 20 and here is going to be positive 21. Let's focus on right now in our first parentheses over here. We can see in the first parentheses both these numbers 2 and negative 20 they are divisible by 2. I am going to divide these numbers by 2 and in the second parentheses 2 and 21 they have nothing in common so just leave it alone so let's simplify that thing 2 and divided by 2 becomes 1 and minus 10 times 2 and plus 21 these are our factors of this given equation and now in the next step, whatever we got these factors, we are going to write down over here n minus 10 times 2n plus 21 set it equal to 0. We already have a 0 over here. Since these two factors are equal to 0, I can separate them. I can split them n minus 10 equal to 0. And on this side, 2n plus 21 equal to 0. That means n turns out to be 10 as one of our solutions. And on this side, move this 21 on the other side. 
2 and turns out to be equal to negative 21. Divide both sides by 2. So n turns out to be negative 21 divided by 2 as another solution. Thus our solution set turns out to be 10 comma negative 21 over 2 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.